Good afternoon. I'm Sharon and I'm Glenn's wife and I am going to make him a baked potato salad. Glenn just loves his potato salads. It's as if it's a meal so um, and this is I'm, I'm recording this for his channel and he can use it if he wants but at least now he'll know how I make my potato salad and he'll be able to make it for himself. So with that Let's get started. Baked potato salad. I'm going to make the uh, dressing first of all. And I am using the yolk of five eggs. And I kind of make a recipe like you would deviled eggs when you put the yolk back in. However, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to crush them all up here. And these are the egg whites. And I'll just throw those in the bowl with the salad after a while. For the dressing, we're going to put some salt and pepper to taste in the egg white or egg yolks and some mustard. Gives it a little tarty flavor. Oh, we'll go about a tablespoon and a half of mustard. Any kind of mustard you do. Sometimes I'll use a, a honey mustard or I'll use a, a hot mustard. It all depends. And about a cup of Miracle Whip. Now some people use mayonnaise, but I prefer Miracle Whip because I think it's got a little bit more tang to it in the salad. And I believe it. I was reading once that it's actually even less fattening than the, uh, the mayonnaise. So, although potato salad is not exactly a healthy food, but it sure is tasty. And good and comfort. So we'll just mix this up for until it's nice and smooth. Um, you can add uh, once in a while I'll add relish or whatever in it but uh, we'll, we're going to keep this one relatively simple and mix up the dressing for the potato salad beginning to look quite good. Of course have baked potato salad, you gotta have baked potatoes. And these are the baked potatoes. I'm using red potatoes. Skins are on. And what I did was I boiled those just for, you know, until they were soft to the uh, attach and uh, tender. And then I uh, put them in the oven on some parchment paper, sprayed with a little bit of olive oil. And might have to get a bigger bowl here, but nonetheless, we'll see how that works. We'll move that off to the side. So now we have the baked potatoes. To meal it up, we're also going to add the, um, the egg whites, which are boiled and chopped up. And we are going to add about, I cooked about four, five slices of bacon and crumpled it up. In here, I have a mixture of red pepper, green pepper, celery, uh, purple onion, and white cooking onion. Some of it has been cooked and some of it's not. So that's sort of get the caramelized onion, give a nice flavor, but uh, also because it's a salad, the raw onion's good. So this is about a cup and a half of the total vegetable mixture. I also am going to put in about 15 grape cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and they're split in half. Now for the meat of the product, we are going to add sausages. Um, these are Italian, uh, sweet Italian sausages. Normally I would just use the store-bought Italian sausages or some whatever sausages I have in the fridge. Turkey meat is also good, um, various kinds of meat, so that it's a one bowl meal all at once. Um, these ones here, I've uh, 
found it a little trick. If you brown the skins before you try and cut them up to cubes and then cook them after, it makes it really nice and easy and they don't fall apart. You don't end up with a whole crumpled bunch of pork meat. And I had to, because the amount of grease that comes in the pork, I rendered that off on a paper towel. So it looks pretty cold here. We're going to first of all mix it all up and add in the dressing a little at a time. What I'm going to do is get a spoon so that it's not breaking the potatoes all up. Spatula will do. Once this is all mixed up, we can uh, put it in the fridge, let it sit, and this is the baked potato salad with sausage. And it will be uh, very tasty. And if sometimes um, you're dressing your, your Miracle Whip or your mayonnaise dressing that you use, it gets soaked into the potatoes or the pasta salads. I find I just sometimes will save some because there's, I've always find that I've got more than enough at the beginning. And uh, then the next day, if you're gonna freshen the salad up and then just add whatever leftover uh, salad mixing that you have. So here, this probably was equal to about a cup and three quarters so I'm going to save uh, at least a half a cup of that and we'll add it in uh, later on after it rests. Or if it's great, then we'll put it in tomorrow. So we now have our potato salad, which will be a little bit of a surprise for my husband, Glenn. He's out doing a garden irrigation system and has been walking back and forth and back and forth to the garage so I'm sure that uh, the amount of walking that he's done he will be able to uh, be grateful for a nice uh, comfort salad. So that's it and uh, if he chooses to use this on his channel then you will have it if not so be it. Have a good day. Bye. If you liked this video, please click like to let me know that there is an interest in this topic. Click subscribe to view videos about fishing, UTV adventures, cooking, my boat renovation. Many topics are coming soon.